Hello, and welcome to my story, Replication and Reinterpretation, Old and New. This is a long title that has a couple different meanings. First, it refers to the ways in which ancient cultures often borrowed from one another across time and space. That's the old, exemplified by objects like this large neck amphora, which looks Greek in certain ways, its shape and the animal friezes running across it, but is actually Etruscan. Or this sculpture of an athlete behind me, which is Roman, made in Italy, probably in the first century AD, but inspired by models made in Greece as early as the fifth century BC. These are not really new interpretations, certainly not groundbreaking, but they are new in a sense, very different from the way these objects were interpreted when they were first acquired by the museum back in 1924. An even more complex, and to me more interesting case, is with this red figure drinking cup, which shows the wine god Dionysus and his followers, the satyrs and the menads. You can see now how it was put back together from many, many fragments, and that was the case when it was acquired back in 1915. Then, however, it was so heavily restored and overpainted that it was pretty much ignored for decades until a new cleaning and conservation campaign revealed enough of the original details to allow attribution to the important Greek vase painter Doris. Still later, in a more recent conservation campaign, we realized that there were both ancient and modern pieces attached here, including the foot and the bit of a handle here, which are ancient, but didn't originally belong to this cup. So we show it here together with those and a new foot which it has been given, allowing our visitors, I hope, to understand aspects of both its ancient and its modern lives. Ancient coins relied on precise replication for their very value, as we can see with all of the examples here, but maybe is especially apparent with the three on the end, all made in Athens in the fifth century BC. A fourth beside them also shows Athena and her owl, but it looks a little bit different, more like a second century example. This one turns out to weigh too little, however, and is almost certainly a modern electrotype replica, probably made for educational purposes. More obvious replicas include these masks of Agamemnon and diadems, all modeled after the originals from Mycenae and shown here together with their sales catalog. Other objects seem to combine both ancient and modern elements, while some, like these charming animal-shaped vases, have both been shown to be likely modern forgeries. The crucial distinction, of course, lies with maker intent, whether for educational good or deceitful gain.